That's pretty good. Back it up just a tiny bit. The Girl, on. you look good once you back that ass up. I say, boom, but you don't want to back that ass up. You don't know the perfect, rest of it. You a fine perfect. mother when you, you back, back that ass up. up. Girl, what you were playing with you back, back that, that ass, ass up. up. Back, back that, that ass up. Back that ass up. Sing it. What? That's, how, that's it. how Lil Wayne popped off. He was yeah. a little kid dancing in the video. Did you know that? I did not know that. Yeah, actually. he was a kid dancing in the juvenile video. Is he really? Yeah. No way, dude. Yeah, I swear There's to God. No, wait, wait. Lil Wayne's a little kid in the juvenile video? Lil Wayne is in the juvenile video. That's how Lil Wayne got to start. He was little. He was Lil Wayne. Baruch, wait, what's the name of the song? Back That Ass Up? Uh, juvenile. Um, I think it's Back That Ass Up. It's it's probably not Back That Ass it Up. It is Back That Ass Up. I think there's a name for it, but let me let me see. Yeah, maybe Back it that is. thing up. Back that thing up. <laughs> Yeah, we can't play this. I mean, we can't pod, play this on the. But no. Too bad we can't even include any of that in the. Yeah, we was just hype for us. That was hype for us. That was for us. I can't believe you didn't know that song. That song got me so crunk for no reason. I, don't like <laughs> I said it really. I said that really white. Yeah, that song got me crunk. I sounded really white. Oh my god. My first... That was like crazy white. The way I sounded. Yeah. It was bad. Yeah, dude. I feel disgusted, kind of. I'm yeah, not going to I'm going to pop a cap on my own ass. No. <laughs> start the podcast over. I, <laughs> I'm not starting the podcast my over. My first uh, introduction to Lil Wayne was in sixth grade uh, when Lollipop came out. My mom's like, you're not allowed to listen to that song, but that made me want to <laughs> listen to the song even more. Did you? I did. I felt so guilty. You were bad. That's you were bad. a bad girl back then. I still am. I no, uh, that not. sounds weird too. Is it the heat that's getting to you? That sounded weird. You're a bad girl. I think back it's the then. heat that's getting to me, dude. There's no heat in this studio right now. Bleep that because we can't have that within the first thirty seconds. Okay, what? I said the f word. Oh, you did. I didn't even sound like you did. Yeah, it's a normal part of my talking, so I say yeah. it. Yeah. Frogan, well, what are the topics today? Sorry, I'm looking at my leggings in my sock roll up, r- rolled up currently. Okay. <laughs> Guys, today is let's 9/11. start 11. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, today it, today is 9/11. Um and I got a special shirt to celebrate, you know. We got the good bush and the bad bush. That's good. Dude. That's a good shirt. Thank you. I I Although that the second bush on there doesn't look like bush, it looks more like Trump. It looks like a monkey. <laughs> oh, then maybe it is bush then. It looks like he looks like the Mad TV character. I think my titties, he does look like my the Mad titties TV skewing his face. Oh, what a problem to have! Today yeah. we're talking about nine eleven. I was talking about what we're talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, you were just like you were talking about your leggings and guys. Your you guys need to stop. This is already getting explosive, and I can't handle it. <laughs> so today we're talking about nine eleven because it is technically nine eleven when we're uploading this podcast. One, we're talking about Nakata Avocado and how he's skinny now, and then we're going to talk about. Uh, Dr. Disrespect, and then we're going to talk about somebody I know getting murdered by Israel. So, Are you yeah, laughing? It's just uh, so abrupt, dude. I forgot. I mean, it, it's, it's wild. You want to talk about that now? Do you want? I think get, probably you should talk about that now. You should talk about that now. Oh, God. You should okay. get that out of so the way. So what happens? Someone... And then we'll talk about Nick Akato, Avocado. So last year... um. I went to Seattle to shoot a cut video and uh, my friend Amir was staying with uh, one of his best friends, best friends, uh, okay. this couple, uh, her name is Sama. So every single night we were in Seattle, we go out with her and then she brought her best friend, uh, Aisha Noor, who was a university student. Um, we, we went out, we got like ice cream and then we chilled and then we just had like tea and we're like comparing our like horoscopes and shit like that. It's a girly, yeah. girly pop. Girlies. Girl night. Uh, and we kept in contact after uh, Seattle uh, on and off. I'm not saying she's like one of my best friends, but just like. Oh, it's so weird. Yeah. So the other day I woke up and uh, the news was saying that like somebody from the U.S. was shot in the head by Israel. And I read the name and I was like, this name sounds way too familiar because like she has a really unique name. Yeah. And then. How do you say it? Aisha Noor. Oh, is that how you say it? Yeah. I was saying it so wrong. Um, so I was like, okay, maybe I'm wrong. Let me go on her Instagram and see if, if she's posted anything. Um, but I was like scrolling through Instagram and then Amir posted that it was her. Oh shit. So you confirmed it with Amir. Yeah, it was her. Uh so I was like, fuck, dude, like 
And then like on her close friend's story, she posted a story from a few hours before, right before the shit broke out. Because what had happened is she was at a prayer Mm -hmm. with the people protesting in the West Bank. Um, And after the prayer, um, she hit the fan with the settlers. Uh, She was she wasn't in the actual fight. She was in the background. She was helping an old lady that couldn't walk um, hide. So she was hiding in the olive trees and then they sniped her. Damn, dude. So it was like, a, it wasn't even like a, like no. an explosion. It was like. No, they, they sought her out, sniped her. They shot her and another person. The other person is fine. He lived in the village. And they shot her in the head. It's like very bizarre seeing like the dead body of somebody I know on the timeline. Yeah, that would fuck me That up. sucks. Yeah, I was just that's like. A, that's awful. It, like it's like I can't even imagine how like her family and like really close friends feel yeah. <clears throat> about it because I'm like fuck dude like I know this person mm-hmm. and now she's dead. Yeah, she was she was in Israel just volunteering and helping out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which when you met her, which did you guys talk about Palestine at all? Or oh no? man, I mean we talked about politics because she was very politically active. Mm-hmm. You know, and she whenever I got attacked by Ethan, she messaged me. Mm-hmm. Being like, yo, like these people are fucking insane. I'm like, yeah, I know. Oh, really? Yeah. So, but yeah, she posted a story like literally right before she died. <clears throat> That's it's, a shame. I was streaming and then you texted me that and I was like covering it because it was the number one, she died in the West Bank. She died close to uh, uh, this. I didn't know. I didn't know the name of the town, but she died, clo- she died r- kind of close to where I'm at from. Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh, fuck, an American died, which mm-hmm. for me kind of fucks with my head because I have a lot of cousins out there. And then like they go back and forth. They stop going now. Like my aunt, my, I was telling you guys, my aunts were over and they were like talking about how they just left their houses. They're going to get them. They're like, they we're going to get them stolen. Like, yeah. There's nothing. 100%. Do. Anyways. Uh, so when I saw that, I was like streaming and then I like was like this. It fucks me up like seeing an American because I'm like, cool. Like that means that we can't go because like this. She wasn't even at the protest. She was just standing there. They they sniped her. And when my mom went, I told her, I was like, you're being a fucking dumbass. Like, they will kill you. They don't care. And uh, and she was getting, like, in their face and, like, getting, a no- like, being a no- like being a Karen with the fucking soldiers. You know, she could have got herself killed. Anyways, uh, and then I was live, and then Frogan texted me, like, what happened? And I remember just being like, dude, you have to post this. Like, and the unfortunate reality is, like, there's people, like, being like, oh, you're farming. I already it. posted about it. Oh, you posted about it before? Uh, it is. So you have to post. I already had already posted I had, about I have, it. I have the. I have the text. I have. Yeah, the I texted text. you after I posted about it. Oh uh, well, I just told you. Just but, g- generally, you should yeah, I posted talk about, about it. it. People were like, "Oh, I bet you've never met her before." I'm like, "Why the fuck would I lie about it?" That's insane. Well, the thing is, people are going to accuse you. Those of, same fucking people are like so upset when celebrities die, and they're like, Let's well, "Fuck those people." People are going to accuse you of that, and the reason why I'm saying, like, even as an outsider, is that people need to understand that this is a real conflict for us. Mm-hmm. And they're like, yes, like there are real people that we know that are actively dying. So when someone is like, oh, you're just using this for cloud or whatever. Again, those people, some of these people on the Internet, they're just mentally ill. Like there's nothing you're going to do to convince these people that they have issues. They need to go seek their own fucking mental health treatment and get the fuck out of their house. OK, um, but the fact of the matter is that like you would be screaming, kicking, yelling and, you know, if if you had a heart and if you don't have a heart go fuck yourself mm-hmm. but if you have a heart you'd be doing the same shit we're doing um and it's important that like someone like you post that even if you weren't like the best of friends but it is someone that you hung out with you yeah. had a conversation because it's like these are real people and people in this space in the streamer space like why did so many streamers come after you and now you know people who are dead you yeah, know like- what i'm saying i was like i posted i posted to you sorry i don't need to cut you off but i posted to you i was like all these people fucking shit on frogan and now someone she knows died like, how fucking dare you? Fuck you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, how yeah. fucking dare you go and be like, oh, you're doing this for cloud. Nobody's. Did anyone text you? Did anyone be like, hey, you good? Like seeing someone, you know, on the timeline dead, that would fuck me up. No. So I, t- I texted you. I was like, are you good? It doesn't matter. Like, I mean, my uncle fucking passed away. Then they bombed outside of his house. That fucked me up. My dad was me. and My, my dad's like, we're going to go. I'm like, we're not going. What are you doing? Yeah, it's just it's just like, I mean, I never really expected to know somebody personally dying with what's happening in Palestine currently like obviously 
our families were fucked up from Israel back in the 70s. Like my dad literally came to America because of everything happening because of Israel. But never in my life did I expect to see like somebody I know dead. Like I, it, it, I was just like, what the fuck? Like I was talking to Amir about it because I was like, I never thought I'd see like somebody I know's head like literally. Yeah, no, yeah, that's crazy. I mean, I know a lot of uh, my family that died in the war and stuff and mm -hmm. then people that died. Uh, so it's kind of, I don't know. It's just a sad reality. It's a sad reality of like what goes on over there. And, uh, but that's fucked. I mean, like to wake up and be like, you're hearing the reports and then you so see it. Yes. Hearing the reports and they're trying to spin her to be like a bad person. And I'm just like, they're always going to do that. But yeah, sucks. uh, that's crazy, dude. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know. It's, it's, she was young too. She was only 26. She just got married. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, y'all, dude. <sighs> that's crazy. I hate this. Um, Sad reality is, is that it's not going to fucking do anything for this country. No, they don't and she actually went viral earlier uh, this year because she was like at her graduation with a, a flag that said Free Palestine. Oh, I saw that. Mm -hmm. That was her. So. I was just talking to someone recently. Um about how they ended up on a fucking watch list because of the shit they've been told they're on a watch list because they're doing too much pro-Palestinian stuff. And I'm like, that's... I'm like, yeah, welcome to our fucking lives, dude. Uh, but anyways, uh, I, I don't know. Frogan, do you have any closing thoughts on that? I don't even know how to close out from it, to be honest. <laughs> like, I know, I know not to be, like, awkward or whatever, but I just, I just don't know what else to say. Like... There's nothing else to say, really. I mean... We're almost a year into the fucking I'm, genocide. Dude, I, I'm... I was, I'm mad. I'm getting more and more mad. And I'm like, it's fucking me up. It fucks me up a lot. Like, it really does fuck me up quite a bit. I mean, it is very weird seeing your people consistently be dehumanized to a point where they're like, yeah, genociding you is cool. Yeah. It's very, very weird because it makes you feel like, dude, and what planet do I live on? Like, what, what is wrong with you? Like, you know what I'm saying? And like the amount of dehumanization taking that shit in every day, like it, it fucks you up. A lot of, People are not okay. Um, you know, like we were talking the other day about, I'm not going to say names, but like people who are just like who left that area and just are not mentally okay. Um, and just not doing well mentally. Like they left Gaza and they're, they're all fucked up for life probably. And like thinking about like, I don't know, dude. It, I don't know. It is what it is. I don't want to, I don't want to get too much into it, but I'm just saying that like it, it, this has fucked me up. I have not been a perfect person this year. You know, obviously, but like this shit is like, I, I feel like if you know Arabs in your community, you know anyone, check in on them. You know what I'm saying? Like check in on your Arab friends because like you you may not realize they're a lot closer to this conflict than you think. My therapist started asking me about it every single time we have therapy now. Yeah, that's, I think it's the right thing to do. Yeah. Like, how are you doing with it? Mm -hmm. There's been so many times where I just scroll and I start crying like a fucking baby because it's fucked, dude. I can't, I can't see it. I can't see it. Like I honestly, for me, I feel like the scary thing is I've become so desensitized with it. Yeah. To be honest. There's there's two feelings that I get is that never in my life did I ever think people would be this pro-Palestinian. And that's like a very happy thing. Right. The other side is that never in my life did I think people would want me to die simply for existing. I mean, I, I do. I, I mean, I went through the war on terror, but this is really bad because there's like they're like actively doing the genocide and people are like, oh, it's cool. And I'm like, look at the videos, dude, like the videos of the area. You know what? Um hard launch the dehumanization of arabs 9 hmm. 11 that's a good topic i'm gonna uh, go get a tums are you okay go get a tums uh speaking of 9 11 you know who was born before 9 11 nick Akato avocado because that's our main topic <laughs> great transition one of the best transitions ever he was definitely born before 9 11 i think uh, let's talk about let's do something fun frogan's gonna take a tums i took it Okay, Frogan's gonna uh, drink. BDS? I don't think it is BDS. What the fuck's BDS? A boycott divestment sanctions. He absolutely, he's older than me. Yeah, he's born before 9 11. Uh oh, I think I, mis I misunderstood you. Yeah, uh -oh. dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> arguing for what? Yeah. I thought he said, I thought he said after. No, I said before. You know who was born before 9 11? Nick Akato Avocado. Yeah, a lot of internet stuff this week has been kind of crazy. So apparently, Nico Avocado. 
I'm just saying this until Frogan sits down and gets settled Nikki in. Cot- Nikki Nikki Cato, Cato, Nikki Nikki Kato. Kato, Avocado. So for those who don't know, Nikki Kato, Avocado is a mukbang streamer. Streamer, If you don't know what no, mukbang no, no. is. Not streamer. It's, or whatever. A mukbang YouTuber. creator. YouTube creator. Basically, that is you. It's just these people. You've seen it before where they're just eating oodles of food. Oodles I hate them. of food. I, I never understood it. Um, As a fat person, I think it's so disgusting. All right, well. I'm sorry, I can never get into it. I'm just like, ugh. I feel so grossed out when I see... <laughs> I think I'm going to get canceled. No, go ahead. So we can bleep it. What are you going to say? I feel so grossed out when I see overly like obese people eating food like that. Mm-hmm. I just want to see people eating food regardless. I, I don't want to hear the noises either. You know, But I get especially grossed out. I just don't like... Well, like loud food too. Or like, Dude. A, 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 like a massive amounts of food. I saw one... <sighs> Because they're slurping that shit. Yeah, the slurp is what gets me. Going. That got me really. We're well, not going. Sorry, it's I don't, hot. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think it's the. Wait, hold on. <laughs> What'd you say? It's the slurping that gets me going, but it's not what I wanted to say. Yeah, it's just it's hot right now. I'm saying I don't like slurping, but I, I feel said like the opposite of that. I feel like Frogan's gonna lose the weight and start becoming fat phobic. I keep my chat keeps saying that. <laughs> It just started. It's already yeah, you imagine? Today. She's just like, I would never be fat. <laughs> yeah. no, here, okay, here, here's, the thing. here's the thing. I talked to my therapist about this. I said, I don't care about other fat people. Do whatever the fuck you want. I'm only fat phobic towards myself. Except when it comes to mukbangs. Then I'm like, I can't. I don't, I don't like mukbangs because I just don't understand it. I mean, I hate the sound of people eating. That's like literally sounds of people eating galore. It's... But the thing about Nikocado Avocado and other mukbang content, it's initially when mukbang started, or I think the original videos were just people eating. So you would like, like the videos were initially you wanted to eat with someone, you wanted to feel like you're sitting there with someone, so you'd yeah. watch someone eat, and then it became content, and then people started eating like 80 million calories. It's, Did it start getting its height in like COVID times I think though? So. Before that, dude, it was big. It's been big on YouTube sure for a long time. Oh, did she? Mm-hmm. Yeah, everyone did. I it. just think it's just like the gross overconsumption of food. I think yeah. it's gross. I, you I know don't, what I mean? I don't like the glorification. Dude, when I look Gluttony. at 20,000 calories and I'm like, no human should eat this. But they're like, oh, they're making me feel good about eating. And I'm like, yeah, but this is not re- this isn't reasonable. This is also, content. Yeah, I don't know the parameters of it either. Are they like actually eating it, or do they usually have like a, a puke bucket or something like some that? People, next? Some people fake some it. Some people spit it out. Yeah, really? yeah. A lot of people. Fake I think it. I hate it because like I, I don't know. I'm trying to decide why I hate it so much. Because I used to I used to bin, I used to have a really bad binge eating disorder where I well, just that's like why it makes you think about yourself. I guess, but I used to like literally just like eat, like on even on like on stream, not eat like as content, but like. I would order just like a shitload of like snacks from 7 Eleven. I'd down like everything, like fucking Skittles, cakes, chips, Slurpee, like literally everything. I would just like inhale that shit on stream. Not for content. I was you were, like, you were mukbanging on accident. As, yeah, I was mukbanging on accident. So maybe I just like, I'm like, ugh, like I see myself in that on accident. So what? So you see yourself in these people? Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, well, you okay. just said you did well, though. Well, no. so- I'm, I'm trying you, to like. You're I'm trying try- to say I don't understand the root why I hate it so much. It's because like, it was an old version of yourself that you don't like. Yeah, but even when I was, I don't know. I just, let me let me give you a different example. Sure. Okay. Mm-hmm. I kind of understand it from the sense of people watch streamers on Twitch, and they watch other people because when you're in a room by yourself, you want to feel like there's someone there. So you throw some video on that makes you feel comforted or like something that you watch. You can sit and watch TV and eat. I watched a dude talk about lizards. Okay. I watch. I watch a guy who probably who who's I think he's in Utah and he just talks about lizards and science and I love watching it. It's like a 50 long minute video on that and I eat my food and I watch it. So people want to eat food with someone else. So they watch mukbang. The thing is, what I'm saying is he kept eating to the point where he gained hundreds of pounds like he was over 250 pounds heavier. Do we know how how and up, up until recently he was posting videos um, where he was 200 pounds overweight and it was really from the start of this mukbang. Yeah. He, uh, I'm assuming his name is Perry. Yeah. Perry told NBC news, uh, it took two years to lose. Oh, I'm not even there yet, but basically he started off at 411 pounds. Yeah. That's insane. At his heaviest. And I think that's that, crazy. Well, I think a lot of it, like when you do those, when you do those mukbangs, like he's actually eating the food and that stretches out your stomach. Then when you go to regular eat, you're like, fuck dude, I'm, really still hungry you know right. what i'm saying 
Because now, like, after doing all the diet shit, I could barely eat. I want to throw up, like, mm-hmm. every time I eat something. I'm, like, trying to think, like, what do I do when I eat? Because I don't feel, I feel like I don't you watch put videos. put food in your mouth and you chew. Yeah, what do you do when you eat? I usually eat here whenever we're working. You don't listen to anything? I listen, I watch he watches, stuff. He watches TV. I watch TV. You no, don't watch TV. TV. No, I, just, I watch. I listen to a podcast. You know that makes you eat more, by the way. What does watching TV? What do you mean? You consume more food for some reason when you when you watch TV. When is you that eat. true? True. It's I don't know. There's a study it. on it. Yeah, and I just eat my food, or like if I'm at the office, I just eat. Take a bite and then get and get sick of it and throw it away. So yeah, yeah. Or I eat on. Stream. Well, that's why you don't do anything because you only have a bite, and then you're done. Of it with it, because my I mean? stomach starts hurting. Yeah, yeah. Or if it, you gotta uh, watch TV or something, it makes your stomach not hurt when you eat. I, I guess I technically do watch TV yeah, on stream because, like, whenever I eat on stream, I'm watching a YouTube video. Fair. Okay, so so basically, so he gained he, a bunch of weight, and there was a lot of drama. And apparently, Frogan, take it away. What happened the la- this last week that has been shocking viewers? Can, Wait, that can has you been. Pu- can you pull up my timeline? Can, Your we, timeline? Well, well, can we talk about his history a little bit? Like yeah, about go for how it. So he, he was, started He started eight, eight-ish years ago on YouTube, and he was really skinny when he first started his mukbang content. Mm-hmm. He was a vegan, too. Yeah. Oh, he was a vegan? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah, so he was super skinny. And then, obviously, when you're doing that overconsumption of food, you're going to gain so much fucking weight. To the point where he had to be in like an electric wheelchair. He had a Ew. CPAP machine. Ew. Gross. That's really fucked up. I'm joking. He had a CPAP machine. Like he was just not doing well health wise. Right. Um, I mean, he I in my opinion, I think he's like the king of mukbangs. You know, there's a I don't know if it, this is a girl, but the one girl that had like she would like slurp like fucking like squids and octopus. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that's the one I know. Where her mouth's like that big. It's like super tiny, but like she like <laughs> Yeah, it's gross. I see a lot of people doing it now on TikTok. They do mukbang, but they do, uh, they fake it because they'll eat like two bites and then all of a sudden the thing's done and they'll yeah. cut those hyper cut the video. There's one on TikTok now. Her name's like Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean? Uh huh. And people are like literally watching her get bigger. Yeah, the feeders. Yeah. As time goes on, because she used to do dance content on TikTok and then she just started doing these like disgusting mukbangs where she eats like. Three grilled cheese burritos from Taco Bell. Mm-hmm. Um, and she's like slurping that. Yeah, see that first video? Ugh. That Baja Blast looks so watered down. I know. Yeah, it does. Ugh. I can't watch these, dude. I'm sorry. I'm it's to really stop messing it. with my head. <laughs> I dude, I really Ugh, can't. I can't stop, do it. I can't. Stop, yeah, dude. this is bad. This is bad. I'm sorry. No, no offense to this. 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 No, full offense to you. Fuck you eating. I food. think if you're eating food for content, you deserve the hate. <laughs> no, dude. My if my, we're like disgusted, my cousin by it, we're does. Disgusted you know by what? It. My cousin so does. What? My you know cousin what? does. I agree that. with you. So what? My cousin does that. Does what? Eat, food. Bees. But Eli is. No, 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 no. It's different though. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going around and going like, I'm, is gonna gross. Eat, I'm not going to eat this like a giant quantity. Also, we know Eli. Spoiler alert. He doesn't finish all the food all the time. <laughs> he's, he's, <laughs> like, a one, he's, he's a, a one by Andy. Bites. Well, that's what I'm saying. You but guys Eli's just... not slurping that shit. And he all, and... Also, his content is, no, he let, me take, let me try this thing. It takes a bite of it. It's, yeah. That's it. He's like Jeff Portnoy for everything food. Uh, yeah, yeah but true. no, dude. Yeah. So, mukbang content. I think he's like the king of mukbangs. Um... But yeah, he's been on YouTube for eight years. And then yesterday he uploaded a video basically like, yo, I'm a skinny bitch now. I'm two steps ahead of so you. This, wait, well, this video wait, hold is, on, right? hold on, hold on. So apparently he's been uploading for two years. Yeah. And While he's been showing his old weight, like, but he, he had two years of a backlog of content. Which is insane to me. And then was losing weight behind the scenes and then just drops a video, drops this video, what Frogan just brought up. But he has been uploading consistently, like, a couple days ago, he we went to the heart attack grill. And he was still 200 and, or 400 something pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he just, sorry, you know, I just want to make sure that we, we get that, that he legitimately... Has been fronting that he's still. I mean, he large. mentions it in the video we're about he to watch. He mentions it, too. right? Yeah, he mentions it in this video. But it's, I think. Cr- but he, it's insane to me that you have two years of food backlog content enough to just edit for two years. 
That's consistently. Insane. That means that the food that we've seen him eat up to this point, he's eaten maybe like twice the tw- two times the amount of that in content. Ugh. And he just never released it. Well, let's, like literally, he's probably filmed it for an entire year and then started losing weight. But so somebody on Twitter, so people have been like dissecting his videos to see if there's like any videos with like timestamps or like dates. Yeah. So there's a video uploaded in February of 2024 this year and people were like looking into it. He said he lost 89 pounds. Um, but when you look at the carton on the milk carton and the egg carton in the video, it's from May of 2023. Oh, holy shit. So he uploaded it a year later. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. It's just, it bewilders me. Because you think about it like, oh, so he's basically for every meal that he's eating, he's doing mukbang, a mukbang video mm-hmm. while he's eating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's insane. Go to, to the outline, please. Uh, Sure. So basically, let's watch this video first. Two sure. This is insane. Ahead. I am always two steps ahead. This has been the greatest social experiment. What's the social experiment? Getting fat? This is this see, AI? No, this is him. No, this is. I think this I is real. To know. This is him. Look at his hair. Certainly the greatest social experiment. What's a social experiment? My entire life. Well, don't keep pausing it like it's that. Stop! 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 Boring. It's gonna annoy the viewers. It's compelling. It's gripping. To bear witness, to observe all these unwell, unbalanced disoriented beings roam the internet in search of stories, in search of ideas, of conflict, of rivalries, where people develop a distinctive desire for direct engagement, where people feel involved. (laughs) Can I be honest? What? I don't care that he did this. He's fucking crazy. I don't. He sounds it, like he's going to kill someone. He sounds like the fat joker. He's, fat he's joker. literally Dan Henschel of fat people. Is he though? Because Dan Henschel is is crazy, but like in a character way. I think he's just actually crazy. No, I think he's crazy and also playing a character, but he's like, yeah. oh, that was a character. I'm like, no, you're actually fucking crazy. No, he's dude. insane, dude. Also, he like. To what, what's There's the also, social experiment? I oh I oh I, I I'm fat now. I think the social experiment is like everyone's actively watched this person. Yeah. With the overconsumption of food. Okay, okay that's not a social experiment. That's curiosity. Like, is he dead yet? No, no. that's fucked up. I'm not, not not me. That's what other people are having. I don't watch. What's it. the social experiment? I don't get. I don't get it. I don't get it. What's so, the social? I don't understand. The everybody social on the internet watches crazy stuff. It's like yeah, we know that. Yep, yeah, you don't need. You don't need to do the experiment. You don't need to do the experiment. People on the internet are fucked up. You, you don't, don't need. need to, you don't need to actively <laughs> attempt to. Gonna raise know. money for charity, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think it's like literally the thing of like. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm sorry. He's watching a video. What? So I could hear it. I, that's crazy. I was checking something. What? Um, I I think maybe the social experiment is like literally people. Just using somebody for entertainment, you know, like and actively enjoying it. Maybe that's what we just said. I mean, yeah, don't, you don't understand. We, I don't get it either. Can I, I, can I, I be quite? Fr- can I be quite frank with you? Yeah, you don't need to fucking do this for two fucking years yeah, to be look, like. Imagine most people how much money he made. The There's already a documentary on Netflix of some guy who was super fit who gained a bunch of weight and then lost it all. We don't. We yeah, have that. that. What is like, that documentary? It's a good documentary. What's yeah, but that's like boring. Like this is like you're watching somebody years, years. Did you watch him? Nikado Avocado? Yeah. Fuck no, bro. Okay, Why? well then... Because I don't like watching fat people. See, it didn't work. Social experiment fails. Stop. I have a video. Who should I send it to? Uh, to... You should get on the Arabs account and put it right in the timeline, brother. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's it called? Where is it? Uh, the two steps ahead, the truth was in front of you the entire time. Where is, where is it? It's on YouTube. It's on Nikado Avocado 3. Oh, oh he did another video? He did another video? So, he, two years ago, he did this same monologue. That's what we're watching That's what right we're now. Watching. That's what we're watching. On yeah. yeah, that's, yeah, that's what we're watching right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> the exact same monologue. <laughs> yeah, we're prepared, Scooty. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's so good. let's watch the one from good. today. Okay, we're, okay. so basically, in this, he's, uh, two years ago, he did. he said, I'm two steps ahead. 
Uh, I'm doing a social. I'm do, this is a crazy social experiment that I'm watching unfold. Yes, mm -hmm. but doesn't tell me what the social experiment really is. Uh, and then he uploads this video Ooh, recently, scary. where obviously uh, he looks like he look. He's dressed up as like the sex panda on any point. He's like a video. twink panda. What? Yeah, he's a t twink panda. Twink panda. So here he goes. I mean, at the beginning of the video. You don't know about the sex panda. Hold no. on. Sorry. You don't know about the sex panda. There's uh -huh. always like an ad. There's or, always a there's sex always panda. like an ad where there's like a like somebody dressed up as a panda or a bat or a rabbit, and they're like there's porn videos. Can I can I be honest with you? I've never seen those I've ads. Huh? I have never seen those ads. You've I just played those ads. I have not. I, pl I played ads. into it to see exactly what no, you said. You've I have seen never those seen ads. an ad of a sex panda. No, you've I seen those never. ads. They're always around. No, I've seen. I've seen the. Hey, ever heard of Jerkmate? I've seen that ad, but those I've are never, newer ones. Okay, I've not seen the sex panda ad. Those are old, old school ones. Those are old, <laughs> old school. I've had a long career, buddy. <laughs> That's an old school one. You don't have. You've never seen it. <laughs> no, I've never seen the Sex Panda. I've never watched it. I've just seen the ads. <laughs> <laughs> I want to Google Sex Panda. Google Sex Panda. Scooters, pull up the Sex Panda. Oh uh, yeah, can you pull up Sex Panda? I want to watch it on the Patreon. Uh, if you guys, if you guys want to support this podcast, you can by uh, joining up for the membership or subbing on Patreon, and we can watch Sex Panda. Yeah, right, keep there going. You go. Two. First of all, loudest the the loudest. Sounds like he's re recording in an alleyway. Well, like he has all the recording equipment. Why is it so loud? I think Are there's no noisy because you can hear the, the slurping. Oh, but he didn't adjust the audio. Put the mic inside you. Yeah. yeah. Subtitles? Two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead. <laughs> this has been the greatest social experiment of my entire life. It's alluring. It's compelling. It's gripping to observe all these unwell, you know what else is gripping? disoriented beings roam the internet <laughs> in search of stories, ideas, rivalries, where they feel encouraged and engaged, where they involve themselves with the stories and become a product of influence. <laughs> Can you stop? There's I don't give a fuck if you did this, dog. You're fucking. This is crazy. And yeah, people on Twitter are like, "Oh, so what? You prove pro can't talk." I don't know, dude. I saw on. fucking the moist critical video on this. He was like, "Oh my god, it was so smart." I'm like, "Bro, are you fucking stupid? What was smart? It's also, something this is insane." He said, "The greatest social experiment of my life." How many social experiments did you fucking do? If this is the only one you did, you didn't do anything. All you proved that people are cr like, what? What is the purpose of this? Oh, you binge ate. You kept going. So you faked the disease, and then you fucking told us that it was a social experiment. You're a dick. So. <laughs> People were like, so what did you prove to us that you could eat, like, ruin your fucking body and yeah, then lose exactly. the entire, you, like, lose the yeah, weight? Yeah, what is the social experiment? What the fuck is the social? It's, I don't understand. It's crazy because he literally lost, like, an entire man, man's worth of weight. Yeah. But for what? I, I get why. Like, he wants to, he wants to, you know. What about his other fat friend? Did, like, the other one that was were eating with him. That was his boyfriend. It was, and they yeah. both got people, fat. It, people, are asking, people are asking, because that's Did his, he husband. Get skinny? his husband. We, we don't know. We don't know. But the panda hat basically yeah, is, what's like, that? What's this is an homage to the beef he has with Stephanie Sue, who is another mukbang content creator. Uh, basically, in 2021, him and her got into it, and he was saying that she's jealous of him, um, envy, and like they were like posting videos back and forth about each other, and she said that like he... He's basically a scary person in that he was like making fun of her domestic abuse. Um, and yeah, he is yeah. a scary person. But basically, Stephanie Sue's husband would remain anonymous by wearing a panda head. And so here, he's, can you go to the Steph and so he's a, go so to the he's her panda. So wait, he's I her thought husband? for a second he was playing like this was a, an experiment and St uh, Stephanie's husband was him and it no. was all a thing. He, no, he's doing an homage. that would have been a cool experiment. Yeah, no. That would have been like, oh, that you got us. You really got us. But no. it's like, oh no, I'm actually still a piece of shit yeah. and also I tricked you. Yeah. And made, this made... is him just basically digging the knife deep, deeper with Stephanie. Okay. Uh, go to the outline. Yeah, but that's, in, that's insane. Yeah, I know. I think that the one thing that Stephanie's video kind of threw me off was the thumbnail was really well done for a, a fucked up situation video. Like the thumbnail was Who's yeah. thumbnail? Just click that Her first video. link. This one? Yeah. It kind of threw me off. I was like, is this all like a conspiracy? But like, no, he's just a piece of shit. She's still posting about it. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, the mm -hmm. thing is, 
I don't understand. Like, I don't understand. Like, who talks like he talks? No one does. Like, if that's your, is that your real voice? Was the whole time? Yeah, here it is. Yeah, see, like those are pictures of Stephanie and her husband together. Oh, yeah. Got like, it. look, look at the first uh, thumbnail, Raph. Tell me if it's not weird. Go down to the first thumbnail. This one. Yeah, isn't that like a weird thumbnail for? I'm, why I'm scared of Nikocado Avocado. It almost looks like it's clickbaity. Yeah. It looks weird for this a very serious it situation. Is it's supposed to be clickbait. Yeah, but that's also like she's telling her truth in her story. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I thought he, she you could was. tell your truth and still be clickbait. True. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe I'm being an ass. I mean, look at the Mr. B situation. Everything has been clickbait so far, but it's still telling a story. True, true, true. His last, yeah, true, true, 100%. That, that's on me. I just. Uh, I think it's because he's freaking me out that I'm like, I'm questioning everything now. But like, look, look at the fucking pictures. Uh, she, he's doing the husband thing. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's just making like an homage to that. How did he get the exact same panda head? Yeah. Where did he get it from? Unless like, that's how all giant panda heads are Can made. Can we get that the, panda head? We, we probably could. Head? But yeah, basically, so people are like, Nicado, Avocado, still a piece of shit because he's referencing the situation. Right. It's, very, it's a very small detail, but like he apparently he... It's a big detail. <laughs> yeah. And apparently he like would like copy strike uh, content creators on YouTube if they like just made a video disagreeing with him. Yeah. He'd like attack random people. Great. Um, But yeah, people like attribute it to his character of being like batshit crazy. But it's like, is it really a character? No, it's not a real character. No, dude, he's insane. He's insane. This is not a character. Of, this is how you this break character. character. I know. This but, is you breaking character, correct? Yeah. That if that's, that's your, the same thing. That's not. But what I'm trying to say is, if this is your normal, this is your baseline. Mm -hmm. You're fucking crazy. Yeah, I know. But basically, he does the whole monologue again, and he shows how skinny he is. I'm gonna be real with you. There had to be First some. Scene. Sorry. No, you're fine. There had to be some fucking surgical intervention. <laughs> Or something. Ozempic? Ozempic or gastric bypass surgery. Is it true that people who are on Ozempic can smell other people on Ozempic? No. We should how, have how unsure, are, how unsure. How unsure. How unsure. How we get you to smell them? Can I be real with you? Yeah. I don't give a fuck how people are losing weight. I'm going to go on a tangent because people were talking about like the Ozempic debate uh, in Hassan's chat whenever he was talking about this. Yeah, yesterday. go on a tangent. I think the Ozempic's a good tangent. Go. I mean, people are like... <laughs> Oh, well, you're taking medication away from people who actually have diabetes um, to lose weight. And it's like, from the public health perspective, why should we wait until somebody develops a chronic health issue when we could easily prevent it with a medication such as like Ozempic or any other semaglutide or trizepatide? Whereas like, to be honest, like Ozempic is like a last resort for most doctors. You know what I mean? Mm. I've tried losing weight for years. Years. But it's harder for me because I have PCOS. Piece of shit syndrome? <laughs> yeah. Poly Damn it, you beat me to it. <laughs> yeah, like polycystic ovarian syndrome. It's oh, you have that? Yeah, I mean, it just like it makes it harder to lose weight. Oh, I didn't know you have that. That yeah. sucks. I mean, no, you feel like a dick now, don't you? No, I mean, for no. me, like some people it's worse than others, but for me, it just made my periods irregular and I mm. couldn't lose Everyone weight. Everyone I know with that, that disease is always mean to me. Wow. <laughs> what a great social experiment. We no, but anyway, like, like some people have it worse, but like for me, it just like made it harder for me to lose weight. And uh, I just had irregular periods. But like having been on like weight loss medication, I finally can lose weight because it's like regulating my body and it like normalized everything in my body. So although I don't have diabetes, it's like it helped me out medically. Uh, can, so, I, can, I, can I, can I, can so I, so why should I wait to get diabetes? In order to get this medication. It's a sound argument, but also that's like saying that there aren't abuse within there, that realm. There definitely is abuse of Ozempic. Like celebrities, like if you're skinny and you need to lose like 10 pounds, you don't need to be on Ozempic. There's abuse. But like from the collective people on it, like it's not being abused. You know what I mean? Like obviously celebrities are going to abuse it too. Like uh, delve into the like skinniness trend that... It, filters on it. I always I hate the individual individual choice argument, right? Mm -hmm. Because here's the deal. Uh my personal opinion is it's very not leftist of you to be like you as an individual need to not take Ozempic so other individuals can go get that uh drug, right? Yeah. Because it should be the government's fucking actually doing the work to get the drug. It's not my fault that someone else can't get the drug. The government should step in and go, 
oh, we have a we don't have enough Ozempic for these people. This is going to be helping society. Here's the thing. If you want to get tactical with diabetes, there's so many other medications that they can shoot, they can take, including oral Ozempic. There's a lot of different medications. Yeah, they, they have so there's like there's like metformin. There's like Jardians. There's the insulin. You know what's killing like, more people with diabetes? Hmm. Not having access to basic fucking health care. Yeah, because it's not Ozempic. And here's the thing. If you want to get technical, whenever you think of public health, you think of the uh, social determinants of health and it leads to like the access to healthy foods and like lifestyle. If you're working a nine to five and then sometimes you have to have other jobs, you're not going to have time to make healthy foods. So you resort to getting like fast foods. Some people work two jobs. And then it spirals into like eating unhealthy. Then you develop like the obesity. Then the obesity can lead to diabetes. It's like a whole thing. So it's literally a systemic issue. Per- I think, like, care. for example, people have told me, oh, you're taking this medication. Why didn't you get gastric bypass surgery? Why would I go the extreme surgical route of cutting my stomach in half when I was fat, but I wasn't that fat to the point where I feel like. My, my cousin had gastric and it never really worked. Never took. I mean. Did it go on Ozempic? I mean, some people are, do, some people do both mm-hmm. at this point. Yeah. But why would I do like the extreme surgical measure when I could do like something that's less invasive and less invasive? I, to be honest, you know I, I don't, mean? I, I, I agree with you. I, I think that preventative care is really important. And I think that, uh, going in and judging individuals based on like, Oh, you're not fat. This person is fat. Like, are we going to really going to play like the fat Olympics? Who's the fattest to take? Yeah, the it's like, oh, you, you don't need it. You're not. Yeah. You don't need it. It's like, you aren't even a medical professional to you're deem. not my doctor. It's like, clearly I, my doctor thought I was okay taking it. If I got prescribed it. If your doctor gives it to you, then uh, listen, I don't care about people in Hassan's chat or any community. I care about my doctor. If I go to my doctor and they're not a fucking quack and they're like, hey, this is healthy for you. Go take it. Then I don't give a shit. Even my doctor's like, yo, bitch, you're extreme now. Yeah. Well, if you're if your doctor tells you then not to take it, then don't. I mean, it's no, he's really not saying not to doc- take it. He's just saying. No. But at yeah, the end of the day, at the end of the day, the preventative care is one of those things that Americans don't really give mm-hmm. a shit about. And pre- preventative care would stop millions of people from getting diabetes if they gave them Ozempic and then in like 20 years we wouldn't have the diabetes crisis I wonder, that we have. I wonder if America was that upset. I don't think they were when PrEP started coming out like actual PrEP like at home for, for like AIDS. AIDS? Yeah. Even why weren't PrEP they? It, uh, why? Well, I'm just saying that? For, for preventative care like you know there's like it, it, everybody's very everyone's very picky choosy with what preventative but care. But because they think Ozempic you're taking it from someone else and I hate that argument because yeah. it's like if there's a shortage why are you not bitching at the government to create to to regulate it and give more mm-hmm. uh, uh give more medication? Because right now there's a, there's also a big shortage in Adderall medication. Right. And right. people are like, oh, you're taking medication from people that don't need it. What about people who take like Adderall rec- recreationally? Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Shits on I don't them. go around them. I don't go around to people that I'm like, you're taking Adderall, dude. I can't get it. I it's, have ADHD. It's like, like, what it's, the fuck is your problem? My friend like, had to take their change their Adderall medication to something generic because you want to choose it and take it recreationally. Yeah, you're a fucking piece of shit. Nobody says that. I don't right. care. I'm like, if you, I'm like, that's, there's a problem with the system. It's not that, you know. And then another thing about like weight loss medication and intervention is like people like call you fat. They'll like rip you apart for being obese. And then when you lose the weight, you get shamed for losing the weight, whether you do it naturally or not. They just want to shit on you no matter what. Dude. Yeah. Dude. And not, not even just me. Like I'm talking about like other content creators. You see, no matter, like if you're losing weight, they're like, oh, you must be on Ozempic. When to be honest, it's not a miracle drug. It isn't. You still have to change your diet. You still have to exercise. You still have to make lifestyle changes. People are like, oh, well, if you get off Ozempic, you're not going to be able to maintain the weight loss. Yeah, no shit. You're not going to be able to maintain the weight loss if you go back to what you were doing before. I, I, heard, I heard someone say something really smart one time. They were like, if you you have to take Ozempic forever, or you if you get off this medication or if you do this, and he's like, yeah, if you get off food, you die. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, it's like, People who say that stupid argument, it's like, okay, yeah, dude, like I understand, but like you have to keep doing what you're doing. You have to keep taking the weight loss serious. It's a lot easier to to keep weight off than it is to fucking to to lose 300 pounds. Like way easier. And yeah, people are like, you oh, think it's easier to keep weight off? No. To not gain it, weight? I think it's easier to. It's easier to lose it's, weight? It's easier to gain weight. Yeah. Way no, I'm easier to gain weight. I think it's, I think it's way harder to lose weight. Than to gain weight. No, I don't know, dog. It's way no, because if you're weight. already obese, it, you you lose at a rapid rate. Then if you start changing all... your lifestyle, you you lose at a quicker rate. Yeah, but, but changing... then you have to like add exercise and work hard to get past plateaus to eat. I could I could fucking I could eat as much as possible, and I'll get fat. 
Yeah, but it'd be easier for you to maintain a weight that you already have that's healthy than to lose and stay at that weight than try to maintain it. Do you get what I'm saying? You're no, adding an extra step. No, that doesn't step. make sense. Why, what, how does it not make sense? I don't know what the fuck you're saying. I'm saying if you're 300 pounds and your goal is to be 180 pounds, it's a lot easier to stay 180 pounds if you're 180 pounds than to lose weight and stay at 180 pounds. No, I think it's different. It's it's different. It's different hardships. The mental aspect of losing weight is the hardest part of it, mm-hmm. not yeah. the actual weight loss per se. Some people but can't then eating and gaining weight. The hardest part of that is. There, if I eat, I'm going to gain weight. Like my doctor. The hardest part of that is the ma- is the maintenance part. part. I'm, yeah. s- I'm saying maintenance is easier than losing. That's all I'm trying to say. Mm. Like my, my doctor opinion. described it to me as like, uh, fuck, I can't think of it. What's the thing? A uh, slingshot. Okay. He was like, as you lose weight, like your your body's new norm like shifts. Because I would, like there was a point in time where I was at, at a plateau for months, and I was like. I'm fucking sick of being here. He's like, well, maybe this is your body's new norm. Mm-hmm. Turns out I just had to eat protein. But like, he was like, like your body is like a slingshot. And if you like continue, if you like eat more, like let's say, or like you're not doing what you're doing to get to this weight, your bodies are stretched out again. And you're going to gain weight rapidly again. So like, no matter what, yo, can you please stop that? No matter what you do, whether you use weight loss medication or not, you're, you have to sustain a lifestyle to maintain it. Yeah, you have to eat healthy and live healthy for the rest of your life, which is why, like, if you're losing weight with like unhealthy habits and like having like a bad relationship with food, like you can't just stop. Like, you can't just like shift that. Does that make sense? I feel like I worded that wrong. That you're asking me? Yeah, yeah. I'm asking in general. I think that this is a complicated issue, and we're all going to move on. No, I, I agree. I agree with what you're saying, Frogan. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. Frogan, I br- I promise it was a joke. It was a joke. It's just that we're both we're like what what I'm saying is that I totally get what you're saying. It makes sense. And the fact of the matter is that I don't give a shit how you lose weight or how you get healthy. Just get healthy. Just don't do hardcore drugs that are gonna damage your I mean, system. another thing is we're talking about being on it forever. People are on mental health medications forever. No, I get that. That's why I'm like, I don't understand why people say that shit. No, I know. People are on diabetes medication forever. What are you talking a about? A third of America is literally type 2 diabetes. My, my 2 grandma diabetes. and my uncle died from diabetes, both of them. And it runs in my family. So one of my things for me was always like try to not gain weight. And then I gained weight. And now I fucking lost eight county calories. You know, I lost 10 pounds or whatever. But like that was fucking, uh, that was fucking hard. But like people were like, you should do Ozempic. I'm like, no, I'm not going to do Ozempic. I don't want to do it. But if I did it, I wouldn't give it. If someone called me out, I'd be like, go fuck yourself. Like I also have had family members die of diabetes. I'm worried about getting diabetes. And I, you know, I have, I have a genetic, uh, what's it called? Like I'm genetically prone to getting diabetes. Predisposition. A lot of Arabs are. Yeah. My grandma had, uh, my grandma died from it. And then my uncle had, uh, her brother had type one. Mm-hmm. And he died from it. He he fucking lost his leg, then had a heart attack. Like we have the first medication that treats obesity. I feel like we should be happy about that. You know? No, I get it. Instead of shaming people um, for taking it. it. In ten years, people would go turn around. They'll go, "Yeah, you're right, Frogan," but I still don't care. I I was just. You were you I'll were no f- no one's gonna say she's right, dude. People do that all the time with shit. Like this is. I don't want to tangent. I want to get back to Nick Avocado, Avocado. But I was going to say, a lot of people, like this this shit about all the Arab stuff that's been going on, in 10 years, people will look back and be like, you guys were right, but you were too fast to make the decision. I waited to make the right call. That's what people do. Yeah. <clears throat> like Gamergate. Yeah. You know, Arab lives is just COVID-19 vaccinations. Yeah. That's yeah. All it is. But yeah, basically, no matter what, people are going to like... People have been like debating how he lost it and like shaming, but yeah. I don't believe in shaming. I believe in preventative measures. I can't believe you. Did I'm gonna shame thing. him. He's a fucking weirdo, dude. No, he is a weirdo. No, he sucks. Uh, keep... but, yeah, I don't even know how we got on this tangent. No, keep playing it. Let's go back to this. For a distraction from time unspent, spoiling their minds, yet stimulating them at the same time. It's brilliant, and it's dangerous I feel as if I'm monitoring ants on an ant farm one follows another follows another follows another 
It's mesmerizing. It's spellbinding. All these little consumers, all of these lost and bored people, people consuming anything that they're told to consume. So I am the villain because I've <laughs> made myself one. Bro, he just looks so like. <laughs> Bro, is this is this is Dan Henschel based off this character? Bro, okay, I was like, as, as soon as I saw it on my timeline, I was like, is this motherfucker Dan Henschel? And then I saw another tweet had a hundred thousand likes, so like Dan Henschel, and I was like, no fucking thought I have is ever original. Mm. But yeah, everyone's saying it's like Trixie Mattel, uh, Dan Henschel. This is still crazy because he's still fucking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're not the Joker, okay? The Joker at least did shit. Everybody looks like ants to me. Yeah, everyone's ants. Why so serious? And, I thought, and a long time ago, two years ago, I would eat those ants. But now, I'm skinny. And no, I, I fuck the ants. ants. I fuck the ants. The ants fuck me. He's a fucking weirdo. I don't like this. Keep I don't, playing it. Keep I don't think it. it's cool. Because I've made myself one. <laughs> And you will continue to consume these stories about me year after year after year for as long as I tell the internet that I am the villain. Stories that permeate. And then look what it goes into. <laughs> <laughs> so so a, th a theory they have is, so that's his bird. Uh, the bird disappeared from videos years ago and people were like he fucking ate that parrot because <laughs> the bird just disappeared out of nowhere they're like he fucking ate that parrot so whenever the parrot showed back up on the video they're like what the fuck so the theory is he moved so the bird was in colombia um and whenever he moved to the america he couldn't bring the bird with him right so now he, they think he's back in colombia so how long do birds bird. usually live for those birds live 100 years oh really yeah parrots live forever dude oh yeah, I had I knew someone who had like a seventy five year old parrot. Really, she was old dude. dude the was shit like, that parrot sees. Imagine you get the parrot like into your next generation of family. The parrot's still there, and they just it starts saying shit that like your ancestors would say, but you didn't. Like that's insane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. Imagine, imagine, if it, imagine if it said some shit from World War Two. Yeah, <laughs> you got like a German racist parrot, like a, <laughs> like a Nazi parrot. It's like. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something German that a parrot would say. I'm trying to think of something not racist that a parrot would say that I could say on the podcast. Oh man, could something you imagine? about juice and Jews? Oh, I, could, <laughs> could you? Yeah, could you imagine like the parrots like from fucking like segregation? It's like this. <laughs> seek, seek. Whites on the front. Whites. Seek, hi. Yeah, yeah. Whites the on the front of the bus. <laughs> I'd be like, what yeah. the fuck? Yeah, the parrot. The parrot was there. It was at the, it was at the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> It was it was there when Rosa Parks did her shit. Imagine a parrot during like Civil War time. You get like a racist parrot. Yeah, yeah. You, get, you get a racist parrot probably. But yeah. Now is a parrot racist or is the parrot just a product of its environment? But then you can say yeah. that about everybody else. Are you racist or just a product of your environment? No, those people are racist. No, I don't they're think just a parrot racist. has they the ability to, to read the news and form its own opinions. Dogs could be racist. We've already had the conversation we on the pod. If you want to know about dogs being it's racist, go. I I th no, I think it's in one of the old episodes. Marley used to be racist. Really? Towards who? Black people. Really? <laughs> Which didn't make sense because the breeders were literally black people. What did the breeders do to the dog? Nothing, but I remember when... How do you know? We had Marley... We got Marley when he was five weeks old. Your PC battery is running low. You didn't plug in the PC wrap. I'll get it. I'll get it. Is the charger here? Oh. Well, Why did you need to get up? Because I... I don't even remember bringing my laptop in here, to be honest. You did and Capri did it. I did it. Um, I remember the day whenever we got Marley, we went to the breeder's house, and then the mailman kicked his dad in the eye, and his eye was all fucked up. That's a memory I have. Wow. But no, we had Marley. We got Marley really young. So, we anyways, this uh, <laughs> so, so this, I don't want to hear about your races. Dog. <laughs> the dogs too racist. For yeah, my it's too do too racist for my liking. I'm too. Dude. I got too white during the beginning of this podcast. Yeah. to listened about a racist dog. But yeah, that's basically it with Nikado Avocado. Go so, he, so where so does what? he get his shirts that are extremely bright red, but also look like they're from like Target without the print on them? <laughs> 
You know, that looks like a Target employee shirt without the print. So then he went on to do what? He went on to do this. So yeah, he did this. Oh wait, pause, pause. People are thinking that he's lying about being skinny. I think that they're old. But he literally did the apple dance. He did the apple dance. Oh, did he? Let me see. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. You can wait, tell he hold was on. Fat. You can tell he was fat because he doesn't know how to move his body as a skinny person. What do you, you have that? What, what is that supposed to fucking mean? <laughs> What's that supposed to fucking no, mean? I, I, I'm just asking. What do you mean? Are you asking me? No, I'm asking, saying, do you I'm, have that? I'm asking generally. Buddy, I'm gaining weight. So yeah, if anything, but if my you go body back, still moves the way it did. But if you years go back ago. to normal, do you think you're gonna be like, you look better now? To Discord be honest, that's, that, number one, you look better now. Number two, dude, what a fucking bullshit compliment. Hold on, I'm dude, sorry. To direct heat off of him. Is this a real thing? <laughs> he has phantom. He has the phantom weight, so he's like moving and like. Raffy, a very, he's attacking me now. Who? Capri. Stop, dude. I'm not, <laughs> Stop. I'm asking you. What are you doing? I'm, there's he's only asking, two people he's on the asking podcast. Me if Scoot I'm, is this a real thing? He's asking me if I move like a fat person. Do you have like phantom weight? What? Yeah, what the fuck, dude? Hold on. First of all, <laughs> well, hold, hold on. Stop, dude. Raph is an even fat one. I'm not calling him you fat. Know what? You know what? Hold, hold on, on. Hold on. Here. Hold on. What hey, is happening Hold right on. Now? Hold on. You know what? What are you doing? You know what? I'm not calling everyone fat. I'm hold asking on. a question. I'm, gonna break, I'm breaking you down like you're trying to break everybody else down. No, do you don't have do that? that? I'm serious. Do you fucking have that? I do. With your 10 pounds of weight you just lost, do you fucking have that? No, he could, he could never move without. I couldn't move before. He couldn't move before. Like huh? it's fine. We'll, we're moving on with this. But like, phantom weight meaning like you were like very fat. You lost it, but that weight kind of still carries itself in your soul. Oh no, I'm still fat. Yeah. So I'm not asking you personally. I'm asking you. Yeah, you you he, asked he I ask all of you. You look us deep in our eyes. And you uh, no. Ask I you were trying to be a fucking dick to Raph. I was it. <laughs> you know, you know what's crazy to me though. He doesn't have any loose skin really. Unless he's wearing like a Surgery. compression shirt, yeah, because everyone's speculating that's not that a too. compression shirt. But because like, I mean, he has like some loose shit on his thighs. You can see that's everyone though. I think it got surgery. Not me though. I have fucking jack thighs. She just shoved her finger in her butt. No, and I, said, I, have jack thighs. no I did it. You're stop, dude. You saw it too, right? How is this my? How is this my butt? Why are you looking? Why are you so excited to look, dude? Why are you making up lies? I'm not making up lies. You literally grabbed my your thigh. hawk and you were just like my what? Hawk, like ham hawks. Thanks, my guy. What does that mean? Sorry, just a fat. That's a fat person thing. You wouldn't get it. I here's the thing though. I never had fat legs. I've always had muscular legs. You need to stop <laughs> saying fat stuff because when you get skinny, you're gonna get canceled. <laughs> Do you think that's a normal size fridge? Do you think that? Do you remember when Matt got <laughs> fat on All of a Sunny in Philadelphia? Yeah, that's, yeah, what, that's, that's, what, that's, what, that's, that's what this reminds me and of. He gets jacked. And then, <laughs> yeah, and he gets just shredded. The funniest part about that is everyone told him, "Don't do that. That's yeah. a bad idea." Yeah, still everyone, did. literally, everyone, the whole crew. Yeah, the whole crew. Yeah. Charlie, his wife, literally everyone was like, "Don't." Don't do that. It's a stupid idea. And he did it anyway. It was great. It was such a great season, though. Yeah. <laughs> He's just eating the burritos. Yeah. What happened? Oh, man. It's, it's a TV show. show. Called it's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. A character named Mac. He was like the buffer one of everyone, you know, aside from, um, uh, fuck, what's his name? Dennis. Dennis. And Mac, for one season, the actor actually got fat like put on, on like, purpose on purpose to like got for, like, for a season so that he would be, have like fat mac they the concept was he's like i hate watching tv shows and nobody ages for years so i'm gonna get fat yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah and he did it everyone was like don't do this it don't it's stupid what, what are we gonna do with it he did it anyways they had a great season <laughs> it was amazing and then the next season i think it was the next season or the next two seasons it was that, the next like, season the, literally the next season loses it all and is jack is the, the most the jack most jack he's <laughs> ever been marvel shredded like, yeah marvel, marvel shredded shows up and he goes i got buff and they're like why are you but doing that, wasn't that the issue and the whole time they're like the problem isn't that you were you're jacked or not jacked you're gay <laughs> he's gay and then he finally comes out as gay like, yeah wait i i'm gay <laughs>
<laughs> so funny. What a great show. I love that show. I think they still I think they still make suits. Su- yeah, they do. They have show. a podcast and it's great. They actually I think they just kind of canceled it. How do you feel? Mm-hmm. Never mind. What? No, I'm not even going to ask. What? One of us should get How do you season. know if you move like a phantom fat? Do I have to play the video again? Right look, now. he's his He's really feeling himself and there's nothing there look, to feel. Look, there's like there's not like look how much space. You see what I mean? He like Why did he slow himself down? Yeah, this is weird. Uh just, anyways, just cuz we've talked about fat and calling people fat this whole episode. <laughs> I just want disclaimer. Just 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 disclaimer, we're not fat phobic. I'm not fat phobic. Okay, okay, stop. We're trying stop. to do a disclaimer. I'm doing disclaimer, you fucking dumb dumb. Okay, <laughs> we are not fat phobic. No. We are uh we, know we are that obesity if is, anything, a, is a rampart disease. If anything, this. if anything we're homophobic. <laughs> We're mukbang phobic. <laughs> it's just on his phone. It's just goes, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're fucking neither. All right. We're allies to everyone. Let me scoot to say we're an ally right now. No, ally. No. Rogan buy a race me a few weeks ago. Did you, did you buy a race him? I can't stand people by erasing. All I, said I don't is like people by erasing you. It's happened is, a I've, lot. All I said is I've never heard him talk about men before. Dude, to me, he literally talks about juicy peepees all the time. No, he, not bleep, to me. Bleep this. You're not he a good enough friend. He said he was gonna fuck. Bleep that. Cut it yeah, out. He, 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 he remembers. I told you. Doggy. He bitch. He remembers. He texted me one night when he was exact, trying to fuck a guy. Ex- that's the exact example. He's like, don't you remember when I said I'd fuck? Yeah. And I was like, bleep that. And I was like, when did that happen? <laughs> And the, he texted yeah. he texted me one night. He's like, "I'm about to have sex with a man finally." And he's like, tr- following this guy around. And he shows up, and the guy. And then he's like, "Oh, it didn't work." Okay, I never I never get these messages. So how you're not a good uh, ally. That's why he knows you're homophobic. You do get the you, you do, do get I, the messages. I told you about these guys. Told you about you just don't listen. You just go. I don't think he's gay. That's what you keep telling us. No, I know Scootish is bi, but like I've just <laughs> I, I don't know how it came up, but. Because I, I was like talking about how I don't I don't no, know his no, type. Sarah, I do talk about women more with you. He talks about yeah, yeah, he talks about women more with me. I do it to gauge. Because like you know more about women than they, these two idiots. Yeah, we know more about men, dude. Yeah, and especially about, gay yeah, men. I, I know a thing or two about gay men. Yeah, I mean, so because we're because yeah. we're talking about Scooch's type in men. Because I was like, I don't know your type in men. He likes skinny brown. He ones. likes twinks. Yeah. Skinny brown ones. Huh. He likes Tom. And I know his type. Tom Holland. Yeah. He mm. likes twinks. He's the top. He's the top. I know. Well, yeah, so I didn't buy you racing on purpose. I just said that. I was like, I don't know your type in men because you never you never talk about them with me. You're by Give me that real quick. Disclaimer, Froga didn't actually buy erase me. She's a really good accepting friend. Capri's the homophobe. <laughs> <laughs> Finally! <laughs> No, I gotta hate this. But this I, I, the, the craziest right, thing about was, this is literally just him still doing mukbang content after all of this. I like he, the video ends here. Scroll to the bird. Uh, when the bird starts eating it, that's the cutest shit I've ever seen. What is this? The, this is so creepy. Fishboat. It's not fishboat. Don't say that. The joke's on you. Oh, he said it from the Joker. That's a bird they thought was killed <laughs> that he ate. And then he uh and then and then he eats. He just goes into eating. Where'd it go? Food. Oh, back, back, back. But this is the part part for Ogan. This is the only part, best good part yeah. about this video. Right there. The I bird hate birds like, as pets. And apparently no, they cause I'm heart issues. Do they? Allegedly. They cause heart issues? Arabs love them. This is a Get real life. Oh, hold oh, on. The bird starts eating the food. It's so cute. Now, I'm also going to have to... Where the fuck is it? Uh, right before this. Spicy pepper is really good for their (laughs) immune system, so... The bad people they always recommend. Just eating the noodles. So I'm just kind of mixing this around since I put those toppings on it. He eats it after? And then he eats the bird. incredible. Now, I'm also going to have to... put a little bib on because... this is about to... Get real wild. He's so skinny now. It's crazy. Ooh. 
I want to know what about his husband because wasn't there like that one video or me where like the husband's like, You ruined my life, yeah, they're being like abuse, yeah. And then, so where's did he eat the husband? Everyone is like trying to understand where he is. That's the that's speculation. Where's his fucking husband? Where is he? Is he skinny? What's going on? How funny would it be if he wasn't skinny? And he's how fun, how crazy would that be? And then, how funny would it be if if Nico broke up with him? He's like, You're too fat for me. That's crazy. How crazy would that be? Really crazy. Yeah. You want to... Speaking you know of crazy. crazy? <laughs> you know what's crazy? What, what's crazy? You know what reminds me of this? Dr. What? Disrespect's apology no, video. Dr. Disrespect. <laughs> Can you just not talk about him? Do you not want to talk about it? We talk about it for two seconds. We don't have to watch it. I hate him. He's so cringe. He's so annoying. The only thing I will... Let's just talk about it for like three seconds. Can I, can I We're say... Not, he, he just can't... Go ahead. Go ahead. It's, he did the same thing. He apologized in character. Yeah. You know what's cr- so? Uh, we're not gonna watch the video because uh, I don't want to, and Capri doesn't want to. I don't care. And Frogan doesn't want to. Oh, I'll, I'll watch you, it. I'll watch it. If you guys want to see it, he posted it. It's on Twitter. It's on his YouTube. Whatever. F- fuck him. Here's the thing. He deleted the tweet, admitting that he did the thing. Yeah. And then made a video, and it's just twenty to thirty minutes of him actively trying to gaslight us. Yeah. It's insane. Blew my fucking mind. He's like, I never said it. And he's like, I didn't do it with a minor. I never said that. No, he said, I did it because I knew you would pick up on it. And the media ran crazy. Yeah, that's yeah, what no crazy sh- people say when they get caught. So so my response is, oh, so if the media picked up on a story that you fed that was incorrect, but they have verified sources that are trusted, you're going to sue them, right? Yeah, you're going to sue them. You, you should sue them. Go ahead and, and sue them. And then the New York them. Times, I think the, the the person who wrote the article was like, made a tweet that I stand by my sources. Like, I, I yeah. stand by my journalism. I did, it it was, I did my it, journalistic duty the, here. The thing that, like, really... Dude, even fucking Nick Merckx watched it and goes, I can't believe he's doing this in character. Yeah. I watched his video and he was like, I can't believe he's doing this in character. You are coming <laughs> out to say, I didn't... I, I, like I, I did not, I did not f those. Uh, you know, I did not, uh, yeah. or whatever the fuck. Okay, sorry, bleep that. Uh, put, yeah, put, bleep. I it. am not a PDF. Uh, okay, I'm is, not a PDF. He says I'm the original tweet. I'm just, I just have it up. Keep talking. So you can put the put the tweet here, but he's saying I'm not a PDF. Then comes out to then attack everyone who's attacking him in fucking character and saying I'm the fucking two time. I'm like, homie, what are you doing? And then in the video, he's it like, doesn't make me believe like, you. These guys, they're not even, they're not real. They're not being real with me. And I'm like, dude, you're dressed up telling us that you didn't PDF. It's the worst apology video I've ever <laughs> seen. Like, what the fuck is like, going on? You're just mad. I'm a 6'10 jacked man with a mustache. Yeah, that's insane. And then he was, and then the whole time, also, he was just like, Dude, the whole thing pissed me off. I couldn't watch all of it because it was just so. Yeah, we were listening stupid. to it in the car, and I was like, "Dude, fuck this motherfucker!" Ar- so ar- arm, stupid. Armchair, armchair psychology, you know, because I, I have no idea. To me, that's like the dude is fucking delusional. Yeah, and he has probably NPD, uh, you know, and he untreated personality, personality disorder. disorder. Yeah, 100%. because there is no human being that would say, "Yeah, I did talk to someone under age, and it was inappropriate, or however it was," and then come out. Not say, yeah, my bad. Like it was, you know, like, I tricked you. It was a and social then, experiment. And there's never, there's never a social experiment, s- experiment where I'm like, hey, got you guys to believe I'm a PDF file. <laughs> Joke's on you. I'm not. <laughs> it only took me a month and a half to fucking say, why not? Like, what's the joke? And then, oh, also, I'm going to do this in character. Imagine if I came out as my Arab dad and go, I am not the PDF file. <laughs> like, what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Yeah, dude. I, I mean, he's, it, it, it's so far from reality. It's insane. And then he's just so he's just so condescending to everything. The way he says champs, the way he says They're telling us don't give me out. He's like, he's like, okay, champs, this is what we did. I'm like, you're not my weird white dad that I never had that yeah. was really fucking distant and cold with me, dude. I don't need that. A I have an error. Comments, a lot of the comments I saw under the video were just like, You would wait, so you admitted it, but you're not admitting it anymore? No, what, he just pulled it back. <laughs> what is this? He's you know, like it redacting been, it. It would have been better if he was like yeah, but then now people are saying, like, now it's kind of like even I'm falling into that fucking gross trap, which is like, okay, then release the messages then, dude. Yeah, that's my whole thing. Release the messages. If you didn't do anything wrong, show us. Yeah. If they're saying one thing, but that's not what happened, if it's all out of context, I personally, show me the messages. I personally don't want to see it, but if I have the messages 
and the messages are literally uh, nothing bad, I would be like, oh, there's nothing bad. This is yeah. just a bad joke. But Chris Ava Tyson got canceled for much less. You know, there were a lot of, no, there was worse things. There was worse. I forgot about the other stuff. The messages were, no, the messages were horrific. Okay. Okay. He was directly, uh, he admitted allegedly that he admitted allegedly that he was directly soliciting, uh, like doing sex stuff with a minor. He, that's was in his statement. Okay. I'm not, don't, don't mm -hmm. sue me. I'm, I'm in the statement. So I'm asking a question if that's, I don't know. They're both gross. I don't know how to describe this. I'm just saying that this is fucking insane. I mean, even here in his original, uh, whatever, he, he admits that he was doing it. In the video, he says they were not a minor. They were legal in the state that they were, whatever. Oh, that. Yeah. That got me. Because I was like, he's like, they were legal in their jurisdiction. And in my head, I'm like, you, well, live, yeah, in but you live in California. Yeah, you live in California, dude. In and your jur yeah. <laughs> jurisdiction, well, it's It could be wrong. Japan. Yeah. Japan has like a 13. What is it? Google age of consent in Japan. I think it's I think it's 14. Okay, so age of consent. So he's talking to someone in Japan that's 14 year, years old. So there he was like they were legal in their jurisdiction. I'm like, "Wait, what?" I'm like, "What yeah, does that but mean?" But that doesn't give you the fucking right. 16. 16. But so he's talking to a 16 year old. As of June 16, 2023, um it was 13. So Wait, so in 2023 it was 13? No, in 2023 it was 16 and now okay. it's 16. This happened in 2020. He could have been talking to a 13-year-old 13 13 in Japan. Yeah. Which is disgusting. Or any in their jurisdiction. And that's if it was Japan, whatever. I'm just saying but that. But still. He could it's, say, it's, he yeah. knows. He could say, I talked to a 17-year-old and we were making bad jokes and the jokes were about X, Y, and Z and not do it in character. And and he could he could be very explicit with what he said. This is what I said. You know, I was joking around. It's not funny, blah, blah. Obviously, I'm very sorry. If that's how, if that's what he's saying, but this is, again, people and his community is insane. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, yeah, it's the, mind. this is also a grown man. This is not a baby. This is like a 40 something year old. He yeah. should know better. And yeah. if, and if he doesn't know better at 40 something years old, why are you watching him? Yeah, exactly. Like, it's, it's not a character. If you come out and you address allegations of, of talking to a minor in that whatever, it's not a character. Oh, I was method. I'm method. It's not really me, but I'm just method. I'm a method character, bro. I I think I think society is completely just sh uh, shit their pants. I don't know. Nah, this just it's insane. Anyways, that's the end of Doctor Disrespect. Fuck him. Fuck that guy. Broken if he wants it. to do anything about it, he can come see me. I'll tell him where I live. I'll I'll get Vitaly on his ass, dude. <laughs> He's just so cringe. Like I have nothing. Like it's just like oh, it's like 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 he said, actively trying to gaslight everybody about what happened and people are fucking stupid enough to fall for it yeah so why should we give somebody with like two brain cells this attention exactly oh, I know, I know. you know what i mean i agree i just think that like he's insane it's crazy dude it was so bad but it wasn't it wasn't proven yeah that's yeah it was he's like that's why they even went ahead with a lawsuit he was like yeah asking to see the messages what is this second grade yeah his favorite they were great his favorite all yeah. right um, moving on, today is 9-11. I don't know how to I don't know how to how to move on, move, move forward from that. Speaking of conspiracy theories. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna talk a little bit about 9-11. <laughs> we all know what happened on 9-11, but there are <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. This slide right now, you need to just show it. Just No, on. don't show the slide. Got, don't oh. show this. This is don't show whatever is on my screen right now. Don't show this. <laughs> okay, but just show this is the three bullet points. Don't show the top part. <laughs> and it just says, and then Raph pulls up the slide and it says, "We know what happened on 9 11 and, and then it says <laughs> how it affected us as Arabs. And then he puts conspiracy <laughs> spear <right laughs> theories that drive us insane. I was doing this quick. I know. No, it's good. It's good. We all know what happened on 9 11. We do you do. want to explain? We all know what happened on 9 11. Do you want to explain what happened on 9 11? Uh, it was a very cold morning of September 11, okay, 2001, no. where I was in kindergarten, and all of a sudden I had to go home from school because 
<laughs> you remember 9-11? I remember it vividly. What do you, what happened? I can't, I mean, uh, how many times are we going to talk about how much we remember 9-11? I know. We've, we've talked about, podcast. we talked about a lot. We've talked uh, we about don't need to so talk about 9-11. Times. I mean, I was in kindergarten and I was one of the last people to go home because also, it was a crazy, it was a, it was a bad day for America. It really was. It, so, it's, we lost a lot of lives. That was not, just not great. Um, we lost a lot of firefighters and police officers and dude, EMTs, first responders got first responders, so responders got shout out to john stewart for doing the first responders bill that was amazing by the way yeah i agree that's that's great shout out to him i don't even know what the um, fuck it, it is it was a you know, what they wouldn't give health this is very important they mm-hmm. wouldn't give health care to uh workers first responders on 9-11 america literally said go fuck yourself yeah. and people were dying of cancer yeah, so I all the that. first responders like we're getting that uh, cancer like mesothelioma and a bunch of cancers that only came from like stuff in the building. Yeah. And Amer- and the US the government would not cover them building, yeah. and they were going bankrupt to try to save their lives so a lot of them died from cancers. So John Stewart uh really pushed uh, he wasn't the only one there's a lot of good people uh there. He was just the only celeb, but he pushed the the first responders act and he testified in front of Congress. And he's like go fuck yourself. Mm-hmm. These are like you're oh 9-11 and we love 9-11 never forget never forget and then you literally let the fir- first responders eat shit You know Steve Bush- Buscemi was a firefighter, firefighter that, day. that yep. day. Yeah Yeah, it was crazy. A lot of yeah. people in Lebanon like Our parents age have died from that too Mesothelioma. Yeah cancer from like buildings and shit blowing mm-hmm. up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah Probably um, gonna happen to people in Gaza too to be yeah. honest. Oh, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, because of all that dust and all those dust particles and then you know uh, I'm assuming those buildings had asbestos in it because, you know, yeah, they're old. They're old buildings. Uh, so, you know, there were three, there were four plane hijackings. Yeah. That happened. Two, two planes went into the World Trade Center buildings that happened in New York. One went to the Pentagon, which is also a conspiracy theory that I'm going to bring up. And then the f- fourth one, um, which also has another conspiracy theory around that, that one was... Uh, taken over again by the brave people on that plane and then crashed into a field. field. So we're not gonna, <laughs> we're not gonna do, <laughs> we're not, we, we, first of all, we respect everybody involved in that. It was a horrific time for us all. And um, 1 million Iraqis died because of it. Dick yeah. Cheney made money off the Iraq Dick war. Dick Cheney yeah. made money off the Iraq war. It's it what was just not a good time for anybody in society. What really. you're seeing in what you're seeing in Gaza, we did do Iraq, except people didn't have cell phones to record it. Right. Yep. Good Bush or bad Bush. Good Bush. Fuck Brogan's wearing Bush. a shirt that has a George a Bush's vagina a on criminal. it with with a nice little. Anyways, nine eleven was. Don't say anyways. Nine. Oh, you're gonna show your shirt. Sorry. There it is. Good Bush, bad Bush. I got toothpaste. And she got toothpaste all over it. Um. But, you know, throughout the years, you know, we all believed, especially when it first happened, that it was just an Al-Qaeda attack on our country. And that's the end of the story. But he's a throughout CIA the year, though. Yeah. But throughout the years, conspiracy theories have evolved continuously. What? I love the conspiracies. They're so funny. What? I had a fucked up thought. What is I'm not going to say it. Well, you laughed out loud, so you have to say it now. <laughs> we can bleep it. We'll bleep it. <sighs> So it's to be like, how many people do you think Osama bin Laden are, is hot? A lot so, of people on TikTok. Conspiracy theories are... A lot of people on TikTok. Do you? No. Okay. People on TikTok were like glorifying him, and I'm like, you're so dumb. He's yeah. a CIA op. He's a CIA op. Which is also <laughs> a conspiracy theory. No, it's a real thing. But that's a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that, that one's real. So um, some of the well-known conspiracy theories that have been going on for 9-11 uh, were the... Can I talk about loose change? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, it's right here. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Go, go yeah, ahead. Go Can ahead. you let this no, man no, introduce his no, topic? No, no, no. no I didn't know if you. you no, I don't it know anything about it. So please tell okay, me. Okay. So I, when I was a kid, Loose Change came out. It was the documentary. It was like Alex Jones and Loose Change were. That's why Alex Jones is really funny to me that like people are like pro Trump because at the time Alex Jones was like anti Republican. Mm-hmm. At least from my recollection. Uh, recollection. He, uh, he Alex Jones got his fame. I don't know if you guys really know about this but he broke into bohemian grove and did a documentary there okay what's that uh it's a a society uh up north i think it's in san francisco and it's basically where all like the presidents would go and they would like do this like like carnival it's like really weird like almost like a cultish type of like it's almost, almost like the freemasons okay uh it's really for the presidents though. for the presidents it's really weird they do business deals up there 
So he breaks in. He says it's a satanic society, secret society, the Illuminati, all that shit. That's also roped in, roped in with uh, Loose Change. At the same time, around the same time, Zeitgeist, the movie came out. I yeah. don't know if you remember that. That talks about how religion is all fake. Yeah, I remember vaguely that one, yes. Uh, yeah, and the whole Masonic, the Masons, the Illuminati, that's all Loose Change. Mm -hmm. So Loose Change was the main documentary that said that like jet fuel can't burn uh, melt steel beams. You put burn there, but it's melt. That's the, what I meant. The reason yeah. why, it's really funny because it, it technically can't, but it bends them, which is all you need to do. Yeah. So... Um, I learned something about the Twin Towers we could talk about in a second, but I know kind of why they fell. Uh, it was just but poor, poor, I have that all, baby. poorly designed. Yeah, but uh, So essentially, there was the controlled demolition. The Tower 7 was the big thing, but Loose Change was like the main doc that said George Bush's cousin uh, worked at the Twin Towers, and he was putting thermite in the Twin Towers to melt the beams so then it would be a controlled demolition. Right. And that was the entire... Uh, entirety of loose change so which is where basically the conspiracy theories of 9-11 kind of started from and also snowballed into other things There's as all, yeah. well like you said the big one that happened the big one is that jet fuel can't uh melt steel <clears throat> beams and that's true you know they have different uh, steel melts at i believe um steel melts at the melting point of steel is <laughs> what what it's just it's just funny because you brought up a, a, a like a history dot co dot uk article yeah. it's just funny you're like seal melts at and then you pulled up an article when you could have just put that in the in the no because it had all the answers in it okay go yeah this this article that i'm looking at now is just a compilation of <laughs> other books and everything it's just spark note notes included. okay okay the melting point of steel is 1510 degrees celsius and jet fuel burns at 815 degrees Celsius uh, at most. So that's true. It, it can't melt steel. What? What's so funny? What? Why are you laughing? No, what's so funny? Dude, I'm about to become a conspiracy theorist. What are you going to say? I'm like, damn, maybe they do have a point. You never heard jet fuel can't melt steel beams? They can't melt steel beams. I'm going to tweet it on 9-11. I mean, no, I've heard about it, but I didn't, I didn't know like, the actual, like, were well, you just like, yeah, that's true. We can. No, I was just like, whatever the fuck. I'm like, there's so many theories about 9/11, but I never like knew the oh, numbers. Some, we're gonna get into some good ones. Scoot, oh how, what are, what are we at time wise? Oh, you guys are so over. It's an hour thirty. Oh, okay, <gasps> keep going. Damn, whatever. All right, well then I'll I'll just do I'll no, do a couple. Do, no, 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 do it no, fully. No, no. I'll do it fully. No, this is a long episode. episode. I'll do guys, a we need you to watch at least forty minutes of the podcast. I mean, keep watching. I'll I'll do a couple. I'll do a couple minutes. No, 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 no. We're doing the full thing. No. And the reason why I'm laughing is because I never knew like the specific numbers. I'm like, Damn. if we have to make this a two hour long episode with no Patreon, <laughs> we'll fucking do it. All right. Where where was I? We're Jet fuel can't melt numbers. steel beams. Go. Keep so going. So you're right. Jet fuel can't melt steel <laughs> beams. It's 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 impossible <laughs> unless it burns for hours. But what it does is that it weakens it. So what happens is that yeah, it didn't burn through the steel beams, but it weakened it enough. It was what you were saying. It bends it. To the point where, like, the whole the whole structure of the building will collapse because all the weight on the steel beams can't support what's above it due to it, how weak it becomes, right? So it, it, even this article is saying that it lost about 90% of strength, mm, which is enough to yeah. bring down an entire building. So that was debunking one of the crazy conspiracy theories that was going on. The other one is that uh, dude. There's a actually really good video. I'm trying to pull it up. Yeah, but it's a guy who literally goes jet fuel can't melt steel beams, and then he literally has a steel beam, and then he just blows blowtorch on it. Yeah, and then he literally just goes watch, and then just bends the steel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's just like, the, it doesn't need to melt it. It needs to just weaken it. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna bring up the next one about like how people were like, oh well, why the buildings fall in like a way where it looked like it was like demolished. Right. You know, C controlled demo. Yeah, a controlled demo. Didn't so, look like a control demo. That shit fucking went all over New York. <laughs> <laughs> so the towers were brought down by control demolition. <laughs> so thermite. Yeah, a lot of people are saying thermite was placed on the beams that caused it to fall down, especially in the straight format that it did fall down, which mm -hmm. is not true. Uh, so there's no. First of all, there's no credible report like this article saying that ever came forward said that there's thermite. I mean, obviously that's that's why a conspiracy theory is a conspiracy theory. Tower 7 was weird, though. Well, which one was Tower 7? Tower, tower seven? 7 randomly collapsed. And Tower 7 looked fine. And then it just fell. 
<laughs> well, then I think that just goes to show that it wasn't fine. No, dude, Tower 7 was wild, dude. Well, it's not like the steel, it's not like the beams, like, were falling forward and everything comes forward. It, 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 Google it the collapse of Tower 7. No, Google the collapse of Tower 7. Okay. That one is the one where I'm like, okay, that's weird. But I also know that I've, I've learned why. Basically, Tell me. so while, while you're looking this up, essentially the way the fucking building was made was it was to, made to give the most optimal amount of space. So the actual support structure for the building was the outside of the building. It was made kind of like a bug where everything inside doesn't support the building. So the building was actually really, really prone to plane attacks. They yeah. were like, this would be a great building, but hopefully a plane doesn't hit it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is Tower 7? This Tower one, seven. dude, Tower 7, World Trade Center 7. There's yeah. World Trade Center 7 that fell. No, the first video is the collapse of World Trade Center 7. So if you look at, oh my God, this is. What an old fucking video. Well, it's NIST. World Trade Center 7. Why the building fell? Well, essentially. New York City. <laughs> <laughs> We're watching this. New York City. 2001. No tall that's building Tower had ever seven. collapsed that's seven. primarily Look. due to fire. But that's exactly what investigators believe happened to the 47-story World Trade Center Building 7 on even September look 11th. It. According to a three-year comprehensive building and fire safety investigation just completed by the National Institute of Standards and Technology, or NIST. World Trade Center 7 collapsed because of fires. We really have a new kind of that progressive sounds awesome. when where, what, where was it at? It's right next to it. It was right next to it. It was in the block. There's two buildings. Basically, it said that the fires from the big trade well, center. Hold on. Hold on. I'm oh, so yeah, sorry. sorry. You, you realize there's two, there's two World Trade Center yeah. buildings. There's a third. No, there's only two. No, there was like multiple World Trade Centers. That's seven. World Trade Center seven. Right. But World the, Trade the Center two seven. The two big ones. Yeah. yeah. It was Six right next seven, to it. It was right next to it. Yeah. And the shit from the World Trade Centers fell on seven. So and that then, makes sense. I know, but that building looked real nice. It did not look like it was the first time that fire can induce a progressive collapse. NIST used detailed data describing the building and its contents to create the most complex computer simulation of a structure collapse. But it ever didn't even made. fall like that, though. Falling debris from Tower 1 started fires on 10 floors in Building 7. See? Uh. A break in the city water main from the collapse of the towers disabled sprinklers in the lower half of WTC 7, allowing fires on those floors to burn See? for seven hours. That makes sense. The NIST computer model was validated with evidence from videos. So basically, it just burns the floor out and mm -hmm. causing it to collapse. Yeah, but anywhere. no building had ever uh, collapsed because due to fire until... Uh, but it burned for seven hours. Yeah, that's insane. Seven hours. Yeah, it's, you do anything for seven hours. I'm not saying. Fall. I'm not saying I believe it. I'm You're, just saying like this it. is this is the one thing that I'm like mm, that's kind of sus. So uh, I mean, so that that they fell because of the fires. It literally was burning for hours yeah. and hours. And then yeah, the sprinkler system being disabled or not disabled, but like Robin, broken. Are you with me on seven now? You kind of think it's weird. You huh? kind of think it's weird, huh? No, I think it makes sense because of obviously falling debris since it's right next to it. I didn't know there was a fucking tower seven that fell. I wait, think she's confused. Wait till you hear about all all the conspiracies. There's only about, two. There's only two buildings. Tower no, seven. There, no, Tower seven is it's World a, Trade it's Center. It's a third seven. building. There was multiple buildings. There was World because Trade Center. Scooter, she lived in New York. The two twin towers that fell were hit by planes. Yeah, but there was this also this one wasn't. This is a different building. It's this World is Trade three. Center seven. I'm confused. What are we talking about here? Are you asking if there's multiple World Trade Centers? No, more I know than there one are. Two? I know there okay, are. Okay, then what do you ask? What do you what do you keep saying? We're talking about the ones in New York. Where's this one? In New York, right next to the, the, the third building. Oh, I didn't know there was three buildings up See, there. See, now it's actually kind of a conspiracy theorist, no, right? I, no, I don't know. <laughs> Did they put thermite in the See, wrong building? Because you're, you're, like, you're like, what the fuck? Like, obviously, I know there's two buildings that fell. I didn't know there was a fucking third. Three buildings. So you guys didn't even know about oh, Tower 7. they're all seven. in the same grouping, Did right? you know about Tower 7? Uh, what are those? <laughs> <laughs> so now he did it. Everyone thinks of the two twin towers, the two long ones. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, Tower We're Seven things fell. every day, dude. Isn't that crazy? Wow, our cousins wow. fucked up. I was, like yeah, it's a neighbor. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, it's a neighborhood. Can I be a whole building fell, and none of you guys knew about go for it. it. Now you know go that for it. it's sure? 9 11 was fake. Uh, yeah, go for it. We're gonna cut it out if it's bad. I would be fucking pissed if I died during 9 11, and they made. Yeah, let me my stop you right there. Everyone was pissed Hold when on. they died, and they made my memorial a fucking water fountain that's open nine to five. 
What? They made the Twin Tussies in New York. Yeah, you can go there at any time. The water's not on, though. Yes. No, it's not, because I've been no, there. I'm saying yes to agree with you. <laughs> I agree with you, the water. Why is it the water on 24-7? So most people don't pee in it. Yeah. But they piss in it anyways, though. Yeah, but there's less of it at that point. They pee least. in it when there's no water in it, and then the water washes it away. Yeah, I know. But, like, then, like, cops go and arrest Do you know them. what it's like going to the 9-11 memorial at, like, midnight? Yes. And you don't see any water in it? I think it's fine. It's haunting. Turn it off. Why would I you want to waste go. water I want to see. I want to see it square. I've seen... I saw... <laughs> I saw 9-11... <laughs> I saw the memorial, like... I think a couple of years after it happened, like maybe five years after. Yeah. And it was wild. They were still cleaning up the debris. Yeah. The, when I first saw it, they were still cleaning up debris. There was still beams that were like on display. Yeah. So. Damn. Yeah. I mean, I went to New York last year. I scoped out the environment so she could crash her plane into something. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's crazy because. I'm going to pick the most, most fortified building. We're going to pick the most fortified fucking place. <laughs> <laughs> she she just hit a fucking rock. <laughs> okay. Look. Okay. Definitely bleep that. <laughs> Definitely bleep that. Definitely bleep Definitely that. Definitely bleep that. So we know. Okay. Okay. Bleep you, ha you have to bleep out. all of it. You, you have, have to bleep, bleep all of that. You, I'm, I, you have to bleep all of that. I'm, I'm looking at you right now and I'm telling you, you have to bleep it. No, I'm just saying hypothetically. No, no, it's I know, not. No, we're bleeping it. Bleep it all. No. We're bleeping it. <laughs> no. But do you get what I mean? I mean no, bleep it. <laughs> it's not going to be in the podcast. I'm telling you it's not. I will tell you after. But do I get what you mean? Yes. I know why. I'm not a fucking idiot. No. Yeah. But no. Okay, yeah. Let's just talk about the next conspiracy. He's, Bart, he's Bart. acting like, obviously, if it's fucking uploaded, I'm going to be put on a goddamn list. Oh, sweetie, you're on the list. I already know I'm probably on the list. <laughs> you know you can request your FBI like thing and see what they have on you? Is that really? true? Yeah. I should request it for you. I, I guarantee. I Should I request mine? Yeah. Hassan is convinced that the CIA was after me at one point. Really? Because there used to be a car that waited outside my house every single day. What the fuck? Every single day. But you lived in a neighborhood. Yeah. Um, it was that the same happens. car every day. No. Yeah, so and, people and then live in your neighborhood. And one day I got home. Why didn't you call the cops and be like, Whoa. "Hold on"? One day I got home, and then they got out of the car. They, with my, I was with my crumbled cookies. I fucking ran, and they took a picture of my license plate and left. And I called the police. I was like, "Yo, fuck this shit!" And the police officer was like, "Nobody can do anything with your license plate unless they're like law enforcement or anything." Yeah, exactly. And why? Why would they take a picture of it if they know where you live? I don't <laughs> like, know. Yeah, that's insane. That's not. They're not. They're not the CIA. <laughs> that's just people who are literally creeping on you. Yeah, you had but, creeps. But ever since then, ever since I called the police, never came back. Well, they got the license plate. What else? Yeah, they, they, need? they just needed the license plate. But they could have had my license plate no matter what. Well, maybe they didn't know which car was my car. But like. Yeah, I don't know, but yeah. If they, they were the CIA, they would have your license plate. Yeah, I know, but they, I was like, they waited outside my house every day for like two months. <laughs> you never called the police until two months after. I that? thought I was just being paranoid. You saw the same people outside of your house for two months, but you thought you were being paranoid. Yeah, because I was like, oh, maybe it's a neighborhood or some shit. But like, as soon as they got out of the car, when I got out of the car, I was like, game fucking over. How did they take the picture? I was running. I don't remember. Wait, Wait did but how did you see, them, see them? I didn't see them take the picture. Okay, but how did you see? How did they take the picture? They just literally walked out, went behind my car, took the picture, and left. Like with their phone, <laughs> they walked behind your car. They went <laughs> left. Conspiracy Is that weird? theories. I, that's just we. I don't think uh, law enforcement would take a picture of your. It car. was the same people that were outside my house for two months. But you saw that was the first time you saw them in the flesh. That's the first time because I never leave my house. I just look out the window. And be Is like, it possible correct? that they had just had the same car? Did you say anything crazy that time? Is it possible they just used thermite to melt the steel beams? <laughs> they would just sit there for hours. <laughs> Maybe they're just fans. Maybe they're just fans. Okay, let's let's do some more of these conspiracies because we got to get to the the uh, Patreon content. Yeah, we got to wrap this up. Um, so another another one that uh, was out was said that like a missile hit was hitting <laughs> the Pentagon instead of the plane. Oh yeah, the, the video. Hole. And the video. And the video. So that was debunked. I love 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
No, not like I love like <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know how like you know how like you know how like white guys are obsessed with World War Two. Arab men are obsessed with knowing if nine eleven was a conspiracy <laughs> or, not. or not. Like the amount of hate that I got after nine eleven, I need to know if this is fake or not. You know, what my dad would do uh, post nine eleven. And anytime we'd fly, they'd like flag my dad, mm. and we'd have like in separate interrogation to the point where he'd always almost miss my flights. And my dad bought a Hezbollah book and would bring it on the plane. And whenever how did that deter people? Yeah, well, that was that's worse. That seems like it would make it worse. It, w- it did make it worse. They made him sit in the aisle seat the entire plane ride. But why oh, would he damn. do that? That's how you get aisle seats. <laughs> Hold on, because he was fucking with them. He's got so sick of like, I think it was a Hezbollah book. I'll text my mom. But like, yeah. He 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 fucked it. He started fucking with them because he got so sick of being pulled aside. You're put on the list not because of anything you've done, but because of what your dad did when you were a child. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's insane. Okay, do the Jewish, the four non. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I've never heard of this Because I gotta ask you a question. Sure. You lived in New York, uh, not during 9/11, but close enough. Did you get? The call that I heard that all the Jews were yeah, not the at show, the tower. The shofar. Did I heard your, the shofar. Did your aunt get the call? My aunt? No, no. We didn't nobody explain this. New, nobody not, was in New York. They can't see this, but we're reading the, the there's, a, there's a conspiracy theory that all the Jews weren't working on 9-11 because yeah. they got told they to got stay warned. home. Yeah, they were yeah. warned. Because uh, there was like 4,000 uh, Jewish em- or more Jewish employees at the World Trade Center who worked there. And they were all apparently told, don't come in this day. So people are speculating and have anti-Semitic, you know, conspiracy theories of saying that say that Jews were the reason 9 11 happened. <laughs> Wait, know, well, why were they? Wait, oh, hold on, is it true that they were all told? Because that's not true. It's not true. No, obviously, no. I just want to make sure that we get that. It's not out. true. It's not true. Also, they were like four thousand Jewish employees were weren't working that day. How many people worked at the? I was gonna say there's probably like two hundred thousand so people working. So many people at that. Yeah, I was gonna building. say like there's. I would say. Uh, can someone Google that? Scoot, can you Google that? How it was, people, yeah. How many people worked at the World Trade Center? I guarantee you it's like 200,000. Like uh, 4,000 Jews would be nothing. Especially in New York City, the, the home of Jewish people next to <laughs> Israel. 50,000 people. 50, people. Yeah. Most of them, I would say more than 4,000 people in that building were Jewish. Right. There's so many Jews in New York. I think there's like... Four million Jews in New York. There, a huge population is in New York, Miami, and, and uh, LA. LA. It's Westwood. Westwood. Uh, how many but Jews? That they were. Yeah, it, it, they. The, the whole thing was that uh, they were saying Mossad was behind. Yeah, behind 10%, the attacks. ten percent. <laughs> ten percent of New York City uh, population is Jewish. Mm-hmm. Oh, I lied. It wasn't Hezbollah. It was Ayatollah Khomeini. Oh, Iran. That's crazy. I oh. think that's even worse. That's I worse. can't even read the language. <laughs> oh, um, buddy. What yeah, else? they were saying that Jewish neoconservatives were behind the attacks, that Jewish controlled media and government manipulated oh. narratives about the attacks. I'm sorry. That's not that's not a conspiracy on your little fucking board there, buddy. What? Zionists exploited 9-11 attacks to expand surveillance on American citizens. That's These real. Are, this is from huh? Th- that's real. They no, did that, do that. That is real. That oh, is okay. real. Yes. Some of these are real. This these are anti-Semitic views. It's first from like an anti-Semitic. Yeah, but then they mix that. Zionism in there because the Zionists actually were the okay. The we Patriot go. Act. Serious? No, though, I'm listening. The Patriot Act was uh, meant to mass surveil American citizens, and some of the major. Yeah, this is uh, this is this happened. Some of the major companies were Israeli. Yeah, a lot of the major companies that were surveilling American citizens were Israeli. Right. So you go, and. Uh, yeah, so there's just a lot of anti-Semitic, uh, you know, say- sayings as well, saying that, you know, the Jews were crazy. in charge of 9-11, which is insane. Um, other conspiracy theories are like remote, what are these, what are these links? Remote control, oh, I, those are just funny memes. Yeah. That I post. Uh, like, remote control, people thought that, people thought that there was remote control hijacks of the planes, that there was nobody really in it. And then they took is them like, all bro, out of Venezuela. Did we, did yeah, we even yeah, have yeah, that yeah. fucking technology? <laughs> what the fuck? Did you throw him? He jumped. <laughs> did they even have? Did we even have the technology no. for remote controlled planes no. at that point? No, we did not. Drone well, wait, technology. Hold on. Yeah, no, we, 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 we did. did. We did. We probably did. But secretly, started, yeah, because drone technology started in um, the Iraq War. Obama did drones. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think Bush started it actually. Um, another crazy theory that I saw was that was that. 
it was all holograms. Yeah, I love that theory. <laughs> that basically the plane and the towers were all holograms, which doesn't make any fucking sense. It's like, bro, we, we, did, we just got yeah. like fucking hologram technology huh? for like fucking like Kanye West or some <laughs> shit like two <laughs> for, years ago. You yeah. think we had like... I mean, people think the moon is a hologram. Which is also why people thought aliens did it, too. The white plane was a crazy one. What's the white plane? There was a plane that was seen on 9-11 that hasn't yet to be identified that was just a white plane in the sky that they they don't know I think people are chalking that up to like a UFO experience, like an alien experience. Um, It was a bird, dude. No, it was a plane, (laughs) but I think it was government. I watched a video one time that was a five and a half hour deep dive on 9-11, and it does the ice. It's the 9-11 iceberg video. Yeah. I loved that video. It was great. What are your what are your, some of your key takeaways from that? Uh, a lot of the a lot of the things that people were talking about were like that the controlled demolition that they would hear like what was crazy to me about 9/11 is that we kind of look at it now knowing the facts but we don't recall like on that day what people didn't really know everything. And um there the uh, firefighters were all saying I've heard multiple explosions. So they all kept like on the ground. They were like, I heard 50 explosions. I heard five explosions because they didn't know what was going on. So right. they just, they kept saying there's a controlled demolition. They were saying it, right? They were like, it's a controlled demolition. But like, we look at it now going, oh, well, we know the the narrative and they fucking knew at the time, but we're like lying, but it like, wasn't a controlled demolition. But, uh, what was also crazy to me is that they found multiple new angles of nine 11, like as of like two weeks ago. Like new angles are coming out of 9 yeah, 11 that have never yeah, been yeah, seen. Yeah. So there's a lot of people like, because we, we don't have, we only have two videos of someone. One guy caught both planes hitting the towers and mm-hmm. he didn't realize it till 10 years later or something like that because he was driving into New York and he had the camera outside and out of the corner of his fucking eye, uh, you like in the footage, he didn't realize it. He caught the first plane hitting, but it's very blurry. And then he's got the, he's got the main footage of the second plane hitting. Yeah. Because he was driving in with a camera, but like, uh, as of right now, there was one that just came out recently on a boat. There was also an account that never posted crazy shit, an account that never posted anything, posted yeah, yeah, a video yeah, recently. That. Did you yeah. see that? Mm-hmm. Just of 9-11, it had like one of the best angles on 9-11, and that account has like nothing on it, but like just one video of 9-11, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it just went up now, and everyone's like, where the fuck did you come from? Imagine gatekeeping a video of 9-11. There's some weird shit. There's like, weird shit. There's weird shit. What the, if it's AI? Because AI is really weird nowadays. No, it wasn't AI. It was real because the the government confirmed it. But the well, sec- that doesn't mean anything, to be honest. Yeah, true. But the second the second big thing about 9-11, which actually the real conspiracy is that the Saudis knew about it and you were able to sue the Saudi government. And I thought that that was crazy. And then they blocked you or not blocked you because basically they knew that bin Laden was planning an attack or basically the Saudi, uh, the Saudi government assisted him. Because, Something like that, yeah. You know, so I don't know. But, but yeah. all in all, this was just a big plot by our American government. <laughs> to do the war on terror. <laughs> to do the war on terror. And kill a million Iraqis. And, and yeah. they don't get a 9-11. They don't, we, yeah. So yeah. rest in peace to the million Iraqis that America killed. 300,000 <laughs> directly. And then 600,000 through like not getting access to health care and all these other uh, issues that they died from. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, it was awful. 9-11 was horrible. The war on terror. Terror ruined every Tara. era. Terror ruined every Arab's Tara. life. Uh, we are... After 9-11, we woke up Arab before we were just little white people with funny hats. Yep. And, uh, but essentially 9-11 was the, was the reason why they went after all of us. I didn't have a funny hat then. Let's end the podcast here. I think this is a good place to wrap it up. All right. Thanks so much. Uh, if you guys made it all the way to the end of the podcast, tell us your favorite good conspiracy. Oh. oh, that works too. What? Type in good bush. Type in good bush or bad bush. Uh, and then any and, favorite conspiracy. And then a theory. colon with your favorite conspiracy, and then a colon with what do I want to tack onto this week? Just a little smiley face. There you go. Good bush or bad bush? Favorite conspiracy theory? Smiley face. You know what I really love? What? After we film this, I wait like a week, and then I see like when we post it, I see the comments come in, and I'm so confused. And then what's even more confusing is that two or three months later, someone will comment the comment we told them. And I'm like, why is someone being a dick and giving me a rat with a thumbs up? And I'm like, what the (laughs) fuck? (laughs) But yeah, it's because people are watching the backlogs now, which is awesome. Thanks, guys. Oh, uh, we're going to keep going on the Patreon. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Frogan, anything? Final thoughts? America did it. Bush did 9-11. I think Joe Rogan did it. 
Uh, that's my allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's a real account. Sorry, before we end, that's a real account called 911 Revisited, and they post these. They're, they're, they legit think it's fake. Not enough people understood this, so we got coronavirus. They think coronavirus <laughs> is the next 911. But anyways, all right, bye guys. Bye guys. See you bye. on the Patreon. See you on the Patreon. Yeah, hold on. We'll do it again. We'll do it again. My 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 my. Look, stay here. Look, eyes. Okay, my my. Go go touch the person who's a freak. Go touch the person who's a. Oh, no, no, go touch the person who's a freak, Miles. He touched you. Go touch the person who's a freak. <laughs> <laughs>